Good evening. All right, all right. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Yes, yes. Share, 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 and share. This is going to be a good word today. Yes, it is. We are uh, from the healing room. I'm Minister Curtis. I'm Minister Issa. And we come from the Alta International Church where yes. we serve under the great, 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 great apostle, Jean August. August. Yes, and the address Absolutely. is 8039D yes. Penrandall Place, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, mm -hmm. 20772. Yes. Yes. I hope everybody's feeling good tonight. It's Tuesday night. Yes. I mean, we are ready to rock and roll. But before we get going, we always say a prayer to make sure we That's honor right. the Lord before right. we present his word. Because mm -hmm. it's the right thing to do. That's right. Amen. So, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to magnify you, Lord. Lord, we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, that you will cleanse us, oh, Heavenly Father. But, Lord, we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that you be near us, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes, and each and every word that we, we uh, speak, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that it edifies the kingdom, Lord. And we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that we praise and we worship you. And we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Share, 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 share. share. Yes, the title today is Throw Your Hands Up. I know all of y'all been <laughs> to a worship service with Jay-Z, yeah. Eminem, Dr. Dre, uh, <laughs> all these young guys, Kodak Black, all of I mean, Kodak I know Black. I know you've been to these shows and these worship centers mm -hmm. and, and, and throwing your hands up because that's what they do. That's what they do. They say, throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. And, and, yep. and when you yes, throw your do. hands up, you are you are giving whoever that worship leader is praise. Yes, you are. Okay, so yes, we're gonna come from the book of Exodus yes. 17, 11 through 16. Yes. It says, Whenever Moses held up his hand, mm -hmm. Israel prevailed, and whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek pre prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary. So they took a stone and put it under him, yes. and he sat on it. While Aaron and her held up his hands, mm -hmm. one on one side, the other on the other side. Mm -hmm. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua overwhelmed the Amalekites and his people with the sword. Yes. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this as a uh, memorial mm -hmm. in a book and recite it in the ears of Joshua that I will utter blot out the memory of the Amaleks from under heaven. Mm -hmm. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, the Lord is my banner, saying, a hand upon the throne of the Lord. The Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Yes. My Lord, throw your hands up. Boy, I'm, I'm telling you, that is, I mean, that is so mighty right there. Yes, I mean, it is. uh, 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 to set the state, uh, to set the stage for what's you know happening. Okay, they first of all the Israelites were asking for water. They were they were bugging Moses for water. Yes. So God said, use that staff that you 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 put down in the river split. Use that staff right there. <laughs> and so Moses said, okay, all right. Yes. So he told them to hit the rock and the water will come out the rock. Mm -hmm. And so as that was going on, they needed water because they were about to get in an intense fight. Now, let me uh, give you a little history lesson about the Amalekites. The Amalekites mm -hmm. are distant cousins to the Israelites. That's right. Because uh, you, got, you got Jacob who turned to Israel. Mm -hmm. You have his brother Esau, who, who uh, one of his kids had a child uh, by someone out of a concubine, yes. which make them distant cousins. Yes. So, so here they're fighting, and here we have a generational curse because, you know, Jacob... And Esau had a fight yes. because of a, a, a rights. Mm -hmm. And so here we have a fight. And so Joshua is down there. He's fighting. Moses is on the hill yes. and he's praying. Yes. And so every time Moses get his hands up like that. Put your hands up. <laughs> Joshua is winning. He, I mean, he's, he's, he, I mean, he's doing his thing. He's down there cutting and slicing, slicing and cutting. <laughs> and they said Joshua had his sword, baby. Yes, he did. So he was cutting and slicing. So, so, or this could be the sword right here. Yes. But, but he was down there and he was handling his business. 
But yeah. every time Moses' <laughs> arms got a little weak, they got heavy. Got heavy. Joshua started losing. That's right. So you had to have Aaron on one side, her mm -hmm. on the other. They had to set Moses on a rock, That's and right. they had to hold. Each one of them had to hold up a hand. That's and right. I mean, can you imagine holding your hand up all day? That's a long time. Your arms get tired. Can you just imagine when we were little? Your parents used to make you hold cans when you did bad things, and your arms would get heavy and come get on, tired. Come on, That's man. how Moses was when he was sitting on the rock. But at this time, I'm going to paint another picture. Miriam, his sister, had just died. So now he has Aaron and her, which was her husband, Come with on, him man. up on the hill, where they were the ones who holding up his arms. So now they're trying to help Moses hold up that staff because the staff represented God. It was the power of the Come staff on, that on. allowed the Israelites to be able to win over the Amalekites. Amen. Yeah. So Amalek was the grandson of Esau. He became evil in the sight of God, all right? He became enemies with Israel. Uh, the Amalekites used to make money or they made a living off of going to different towns, different areas, and they would ransack towns and they would take what they owed. They would on, take their, their, their belongings from them. And that's how they made a living. They were evil in the sight of God. And so God, in return, had Moses to go up to the mountain. When Moses told Joshua, you go down there and you fight, fight, fight Amalek. I'm going to go up here in the morning to the mountain and I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to take on, the man. staff that he gave me. Now that staff that Moses had was used for several different miracles. Yes, Amen. Come on, it was man. used to turn the water into blood. Come on, it was man. used to part the Dead Sea. It was used to hit the rock to make the water for the people two times, two not times. just one time. Two, 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 two times. Two times. Come on, man. It was made two times so that they can get water because they were complaining. Now, this is all while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, in the wilderness, and they were complaining to Moses. And Moses got upset, and he was like, listen, God, these people are complaining to me, and they're ready to stone me because they're upset. They think I brought them out of here on my own will when it was your will. They're not fighting me. They're fighting you. And so God had to let them know by Moses going to use that staff and give them water out of a rock now, which is a miracle by itself, that it was not only him that brought them through the wilderness, but it was him that was going to stop them from dying from thirst. Amen. So God will always send a miracle so that He, will, you will know that it's him who's working in your life. Amen. And so it's so funny that you said rock because mm -hmm. we create Jesus as being the rock That's right. and the everlasting water. Right. That so, rock so, represented yeah, Jesus. Yeah. So, so. Yes. He had to take them to the rock to yes. get them where they will quench their thirst. That's and that's right. what we want. That's we right. want to quench our thirst on Jesus. That's right. right. And so, so right mm -hmm. here it says, but Moses' hands grew weary, mm -hmm. so they took a stone mm -hmm. and put it under him, and yes. he sat on it while Aaron held one side Amen. and, and uh, her uh, on the other side. Yes. Now, I mean... That's just like if you had a concert, mm -hmm. like I said, you got a worship le uh, leader, Eminem, yes. uh, 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 Kanye West got yes. his Sunday service now. Yes, they At do. some point, yes, they you're going to give high praise, your arms going to get tired. That's right. But if you notice, when you got your hands to the sky, yes. they put, first of all, they put Moses on the hill, so they wanted him to be as close to God as possible. That's right. You get to, get him on the hill, mm -hmm. you got that, that, that staff and that rod in one hand, and in his other hand, and you win it. Mm -hmm. And so they held it until sunset. That's and right. so their arms had to be tired to support them. Yes. But, but, but there was a lesson in this because yes, yes, God yes. told Moses, he said, you know what I want you to do? I want you to write a memorial. I want yes. you to write it on a scroll yes. so that you can whisper this to Joshua. What he was doing was he was passing the torch. Yes. Just like in a, in, in right. a uh, four right. by four race you see in the Olympics. They, they, they pass the baton That's to the right. next man. Yes. And so Moses wasn't going to see some things mm -hmm. that Joshua was going to see. Yes. However, Joshua had to be there to witness mm -hmm. when Moses, Moses would put his hands up so that God would be able to bless the Israelites. That's right. Absolutely. So <laughs> that was good. You threw me off. So Joshua was the one who was going to succeed Moses because Moses, because he was disobedient, what God told Moses to do, he told Moses to speak to the rock. He didn't tell him to strike the rock, which he did two times. Come on, God man. said, speak to the rock. And because he was disobedient, God said, you won't get over into the land that I'm giving to the people. Amen. So neither him 
nor Joshua were able to see the land. I'm sorry, neither him nor Aaron were able to see the promised land that God had promised them. Amen. So when they got there, God had used that staff to do many things. But I want to go back to the two people that were holding up the arms of Moses. Come on, Sometimes man. we got people in our circle that are not helping to build us up, Come that on, are not man. helping to get us where we need to be, that is not helping us to get us to the victory. Amen. Moses had two people he trusted. He had his brother-in-law and he had his brother Aaron, who he anointed as high priest. Because as you know, Moses was a prophet. Aaron was a prophet who was now. anointed by Moses, amen, who anointed him to be the first high priest. Come on so now. he had a high priest in his corner, and he had his brother-in-law in his corner, who name meant noble. So he had a nobleman in his corner, and he had his brother in his corner. So sometimes we got to put people in our corner who's going to get us where we need to be, who's going to help us get to the victory, to get to our purpose, to get to our destiny. So when you're in a place where you got people surrounding you who don't know where you're going and what you're doing, you got the wrong people around. You got to check your circle. Amen. Amen. They're not going to be able to get you where you got to go. And not all the times where the people who are with you are going to be able to go with you. Moses was only able to take those two people with him into the mountain so he could hold that staff up and be able to deliver the children of Israel from the Amalekites. Amen. Amen. And right here check it says, your circle. It, it said, and Moses, oh, it say, um, I will utterly blot out the memory of the Amalek from That's under right. heaven. That's right. So That's that right. means that they have been dismissed yes. from heaven because of their disobedience. That's right. Now, now, they had the opportunity to be part of heaven, mm -hmm. but because they went against God, mm -hmm. God said, you know what? Mm -hmm. You won't remember what heaven is. Yes. So right. so He God put them away. But mm -hmm. what excites me is, is, and Moses built an altar and yes. call the name of it, the Lord is my banner. Right. Sing a hand upon the throne of mm -hmm. the Lord. That's right. Let me tell you something. Whenever God takes you through something mm -hmm. and, and, he, and he gets the victory, now you have to give something to the altar. You That's have right. to give the sacrifice. Yes. Moses understood mm -hmm. the protocol mm -hmm. of dealing with God. That's right. Just like any time... Uh, uh, we we get through something. Mm -hmm. We have to pay God homage. Yes. We have to give God a little something, something, as you want to say. <laughs> I mean, this is the opportunity. Yeah. I mean, God does not hear you without a sacrifice. Like for instance, you can pray, pray, pray all to your blue in the face. Mm -hmm. It can. The prayer is really answered after after it's released out of your mouth. Yes. But you need to get God's attention yes. by giving Him an offering. Yes. Either, if you don't have any money, Lord, you know what? I'm That's gonna time. fast three days. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that you hear my my request. Yes. And God will honor it as long as you're honest in your heart and your heart is right, just like David. Yes. So right here, Moses went automatically into mm -hmm. a prophet mode. Yes. He built that altar right there on the hill, right there where he was. Yes, he and, and I'm more than sure he put an offering there to let the Lord know that he is almighty. That's right. Absolutely. So this story is really about our spiritual leaders. Amen. How do we treat our spiritual leaders? How do we support them? What do you do to kind of take the load off your spiritual leader? That's what Aaron and her did. They Come were on, helping him take the load off of his arms, take the heaviness off of his arms. So it is our responsibility to help our spiritual leaders, to pray for them, Come to on, give man. them a word of encouragement, help them out around the church when you see something to be done. Our apostle always say, if you see a need, meet the need of your spiritual Come leader. On, they too need to be encouraged. They too need to be lifted up in the word of God. They too need to be prayed for. Our victory is in the hands of our spiritual leader because if they're not fasting for you, if they're not praying for you, on, if they're not calling your name out to the Lord for you, there is no way in green, God's green earth you're going to be able to make it through the trials and tribulations that you're going through. If your man of God or your woman of God is not praying and fasting for you, you might want to check the church you in, you might want to check the person that you're under and figure out whether or not your issues is because you're not being covered properly. Amen. Amen. And I, and I just want to jump in. And what I want to say is, yes. is so often, if you look at this, mm -hmm. if you look at the meat and potatoes, and just like Minister Issa said, mm -hmm. the victory 
of defeating the Israelites was That's in right. the hand of Moses. Yes, it was. And you know why it was in the hand of Moses? Because mm -hmm. God spoke to Moses. Right. He did not speak to Aaron. Yes. He did not speak to Joshua. Mm -hmm. He did not speak to her. That's so, right. so I know that, you know, sometimes we say, well, God spoke to me or the Holy Spirit spoke to me. <laughs> yes. But if you if you are underneath the covering yes. of a man of God or woman of God, that's right. And, 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 and God speaks to you, and then your man of God tells you the same thing. That's confirmation. That's right. And so, so often, That's we right. get out of line because we say, who do you think he is? <laughs> yeah. I hear from God, too. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? And, and so, so often, we will get off track because we will jump in our carnal mind. Yeah. But what I'm here to tell y'all is that the victory of the Israelites was in the hand of that's Moses. Right. And, right. and, and it, it was nobody else. And so that's why they sat him down on a rock. Yes. Because guess what? Yes. The rock is the foundation. Yes. And, and, and as long as you're sitting on the rock or standing on the rock, mm -hmm. you got a good foundation. It's that's just right. like a house. If you, I don't care where you live at. If you have a house, the first thing they build is the foundation. Because if the foundation is cracked, you got a jacked up house. That's right. And so they build the foundation and then they put the pieces of brick or whatever mortar on, 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 the, on the house. And, and then you have a solid house. But if your foundation is no good, That's right. I'm here to tell you, you are in trouble. That's right. Whenever you your biblical principles are, are not there, you are in trouble. That's Whenever right. you're not studying the word and you're, right. you're not having the discernment, mm -hmm. you're in trouble because mm -hmm. you're not, you're only 50-50. You, 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 you sitting there you, like you want to jump in the pool, you yes. stick your big toe in and you take it out. What? You can't do that. You got to jump all the way in <laughs> where the foundation of the, of the pool yes. is. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And so what, I, what I'm here to tell you is <laughs> rap music, concerts, mm -hmm. everybody Give a submission to whoever the worship leader is by That's putting right. their hands up. That's you right. are honoring whoever is up there That's on right. the stage. Luther That's Van right. Draws, mm -hmm. Earth Winning Five. Tina uh, Marie. Well, it used to be Tina Marie. Yeah, Tina Marie. <laughs> I mean, Baker. Whoever you're going to whoever see. Whoever you're going to see. Yes. It's the same protocol. That's, That's why right. church folks and folks of the world blend together because we do the same thing. Yes. We just do it in a different arena. That's and right. so you have to throw your hands up when you're in church because guess what? That's you're right. not you're not praising mm -hmm. uh, the man up there. You're praising God, That's but right. you're honoring that man up there. That's right. Listen, God is not going to bypass your man of God and go directly to you with something that he wants you to do. That's He's going to go to your man of God. He's going to confirm it. Through you, Come on, through man. your man, from God. Now, that's the difference. We just learned this. There's a difference between a man of God and a man from God. Come Amen. on, man. Come a on. A man of God does ministry for his own purposes. Come Amen. On, he will lead you to find God for yourself. But the man from God Come on, will man. help you to find God. He will get you delivered. He will get you healed. Amen. Come so there's on, a difference man. between the two. You got to understand what that means. And when we heard it, we was like, my God, we've been saying, hey, man of God, hey, man of God. We say it to everybody. But do you realize what it is you're saying when you call somebody a man of God? Amen. Man of God can be in the flesh. Man from God is in the spirit. Amen. On, man. So there's it? a difference between the two. So God is not going to bypass your man from God to give you a message without confirming it to him first. And that's why he sent Moses, because he was the man from God, Come sent on, by man. God, on a purpose, on a mission to help to, to deliver the Israelites from the Amalekites. And that's how this whole purpose began in the first place, Hello. because Moses was commissioned to do this. He did it, even though he didn't get a chance to get into the promised land because of his disobedience. Amen. Sometimes we're disobedient and God will still make us pay the penalty for our sin. Amen. Amen. So that's what happened to Moses. He still had to pay the penalty for his sin, but God still used him. God can use anybody. He used a donkey to talk. He can use you to do what he commissioned you to do. Whatever your issue may be, don't worry about it. God will work with you on those issues. Don't on, feel man. like you got to be picture perfect for God to use you. Nobody in the Bible was picture perfect before God called them into, into ministry or to do what it is he called them to do. Don't worry about 
and you got to have your hair right, you got to speak right, you got to talk right. What you got to get right is your relationship with God and your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you got that right, then God can use you. He's not worried about the heart. The Bible says God looks at the heart. He doesn't look at the outer appearance. Amen. So he's looking at what your heart, because out of the heart, Speaks the mouth. Amen. Amen. I don't know why I went there, but no, I did. no, no, no. It was good. <laughs> and, 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 and what I like about this is is this shows you yes. even though Moses was the man from God, yes. he needed Aaron and her That's right. to save the Israelites. That's right. So I'm saying to you, even though you may not be in the pulpit That's right. sitting with the with the uh pastor, mm -hmm. or you may not be the 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 uh person you know this the with them all the time. Yes. You can be the usher. You can be the person right. at the front door. That's but right. if your face is balled up, mm -hmm. don't nobody want to come into church and throw their hand up. That's because right. guess what? You <laughs> just discourage them. Yes. So it the body of Christ it needs everybody to play their position. That's right. Know your position, That's play right. your position, mm -hmm. and don't worry about nobody else's position That's because. Right. At the end of the day, it's all for the glorification of the kingdom. That's and right. so you have to edify the kingdom in your position. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we hope that this word has blessed you like it blessed us. This thing was so powerful. We had to bring it to you because the Holy Spirit gave it to us in this way. Amen. My Lord. So if this word has blessed you, we ask that you sow a seed at www dot time with the apostle dot com slash donation because there's no nation like a no donation no nation like a donation and let me say this if this word has blessed you yes throw your hands up throw your hands up everybody throw your hands up join us this Friday for Miracle Friday at the Altar International Church Amen we have Miracle Fridays at six thirty p.m. on Friday then on Sunday we have Youth Sunday School at nine thirty ten o'clock we have an adult teaching at 10.30. We go into fervent prayer. Amen. We pray and we pray and we pray. We are fasting and we are praying, church. Amen. Come out and fellowship with us. We, we would love to meet you. We would love to get to know who you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We go Hold on, wait a minute. What? Uh, Lady Lee said, please restate offering website. Okay. It is www.prayertimewiththeapostle. Dot com. Dot com slash donations. Yes. www.prayertimewiththeapostle.com slash donation. And what I will do, we will put it in the feed. We'll put a link. We'll put the link in the feed mm -hmm. so that you can sow a seed. Amen. And we had one gentleman, he came to the church. He had his last $14. Yes. He put $14 in. He yes, put his he last did. in. And what ended up happening was he got a blessing so, um, his job blessed him with fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred dollars, and so yeah. you know, it's all about the place and sowing the seed. That's right, absolutely. Remember, y'all. We always tell you love on your family, love on your friends, because love bears all things. Amen. We love y'all. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, YouTube. Join us tomorrow night at eight thirty p.m. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a great night, everybody. Remember, throw your hands up. Throw your hands <laughs> up. Amen. Amen. Throw them up for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have a good night, everybody. God bless you.